Blender for Noobs. Hello, this is Dan Nobles and welcome to Blender for Noobs and welcome back to the, the tutorial on creating your own car. Uh, if you followed along this far, I really hope that you were able to, to design something on your own. Or if not, if you're following uh, my, <laughs> my vehicle here, uh, that I hope that you're getting something out of it and along the way I'm touching on some things that you can do some uh, techniques you can use in Blender in order to create your objects and also manipulate your geometry and all that good stuff so hopefully this is helpful for you uh, in any case I think it's a lot of fun to try to create something that um, you're creating out of your head I'm a little bit out of my depth here I like to design spaceships uh, I don't know if there's any real desire for spaceships on you know as far as tutorials I am gonna do one for sure but I did want to do this car tutorial to kinda of, you know hopefully pique the interest of people who would like to use their creativity and create something on their own and of course you could easily use these techniques to uh, well I won't say easily but you can use these techniques to bring a you know some a reference image off of the blueprint.com or wherever you get it or even photographs and you can create an existing car using these same techniques so anyway let's get started in this part of the tutorial what we're going to be doing is kind of a little bit of a relaxed fun part it's not as hard we're just going to assign the uh, materials to the pieces and actually name the parts of the car so this is kind of a relaxing fun part for me anyway so I'm just going to do a file save as take this 13 and call it materials underscore assignment and save the blender file shift C to get out of the render view and control up arrow to get back to our view here and at this point what I do you know, I was pretty much done with the modeling. I mean, I may try to tweak my car further, but I'm pretty much done, I think. So what I have, if you look up here in the outliner, is I have all these pieces, and they are, you know, named things like cube and cylinder and whatever. And that's not good practice. So at this point, when I'm done with modeling, I always come back and I start naming my pieces logically. So... If you don't see the outliner here, you can also choose one of your windows here. Come down here to properties and choose the outliner right here. It's the same thing. Okay, so what we're going to do is just name our pieces. And probably the easiest thing to do is just start down the list here. And I'm going to choose my Bezier curve here. This is the mufflers. So I don't want um, I don't want to mix my regular uh, polygon type geometry with um, with my with curves. So I'm going to convert this Bezier curve to the regular geometry. And the way to do that is just select it, go to Object, go up to Convert to, and I'm going to convert mesh from curve. And when you do that, you'll see that this little uh, symbol up here has changed to mesh geometry and if you tab in edit mode you'll see now you no longer have the curves you have the regular mesh geometry which is what we want so if I double click here I'm just gonna call this muffler and come down here actually one other thing that I do at the same time or should do uh, Okay, when I converted it, it took away the mirror modifier, so that's that's fine. What I'm going to do is apply most of the mirror, um, I mean, most of the modifiers that I have as I'm doing this. Uh, I will not apply the subdivision surface. The reason I don't apply that is because you may want to use that later to bump up the number of divisions or bring it back down, or if you let somebody else uh, use your have your model or if you sell your model you want to leave that sort of thing intact so that the people that are, are working with it are free to change uh, those divisions 
In other words, if I go to this cube, um, I'll apply the, the mirror modifier, but I'm going to leave the subdivision surface intact here. So speaking of this cube, if we G move this around, we can see that this is the body of the car. So double click in there, choose body underscore car. And it's moving all this stuff, so I'll apply. Actually, is it still selected? Yes. So I can just apply it right here. Or not this, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's the one I don't want to apply. Apply the mirror modifier. And, uh, you know, if you decide, oh, I forgot, I wanted to add something onto the car. In fact, we really need to do a gas cap, but it's not a big deal to do that. Um, but you needed the mirror back in there. You know, it's no big deal to go back into the car and cut it in half, just like we did the cube in, in the beginning, and create a mirror modifier again. Very easy to get that back. Impossible to get back to subdivision service. So that's why I leave that there. Okay, so the next cube, what is that? That is a steering wheel. So it's not a cube. We can call it steering wheel. And then cylinders, these are going to be the tires themselves. So I'll just call this uh, wheel underscore front left, left being according to the passenger or the uh, driver view. And this is rim underscore front left. Rim underscore rear left. And wheel underscore rear left. And Actually, I should not have put left on there because those are mirrored, and I'm going to apply the mirror modifier. So next is plane. That is the undercarriage. So um, we could just call this bottom. Sphere. Those are those studs. And those are those rear studs. And you could probably actually even join those together and just have one, but that's okay. So what do I have left? A muffler rim. Okay, I don't have a whole lot there, and the reason I don't is because I actually modeled a lot of stuff right into the body. Uh, not always the best technique to do, but I did it here just for speed, I guess. But uh, things like the headlights would probably, you, you know, you'd want those separate because if you do textures, you'll want to put, uh, you want to have that separate so you can put your texture on it easily, more easily than having it all, part of the whole body. Um, you know, even the uh, side mirrors, you probably want to have separate, the tail lights, all that stuff. So, but anyway, that's the way I did it. And we don't have a whole lot of main parts here to deal with. So if you did like me and, and name this left, you can actually just change these. And if you want to, you can apply the mirror on these. And I'm just looking everywhere there, where there is um, the modifier symbol. Okay, so that's pretty much done. Now we can go ahead and start uh, assigning our materials. So when you assign materials, um, if, you if you've done something like what I did and you have a body of car with all kinds of different parts on it, like mirrors and dashboards and things like that, um, you're going to have all kinds of different materials. You want to assign the main material first, and that way... You don't have to go back and try to um, define which part of the car is the main material. Uh, if you ever do it, it's easier to explain that way. But anyway, what I'm going to do is, with the body selected, I'm going to choose materials over here. And I'm just going to 
use this default material and I'm going to call this body underscore car just keeping in line with what I'm calling it up there not a big deal but um, so I am using I'm going to be using cycles render and I'm going to be using nodes so I'm going to choose use nodes and for right now uh, I don't know what color, I mean it doesn't really matter what color we do, you can do it whatever color you want to. I'm just going to make mine kind of bluish. I seem to always go to blue for cars <laughs> for some reason. Just like the color blue I guess. And then um, what you can do also once you have set that is go into settings, scroll down, and in your viewport color, um, you want to go ahead and change the viewport color so you'll know which areas of the car you you've assigned materials to so an easy way to do this I mean you can go in here and you can just do that but if you want it to kind of match what you're doing there just choose this choose your eyedropper just come over here and I drop that color and it'll just grab the same exact color and I'm gonna leave the surface diffuse and all that I'm gonna leave all of them diffuse right now because in the next video what we're going to do is we're going to go into the nodes and we're going to fine tune our materials so that it actually looks like a paint job. So there's our main body. Now what we need to do is tab into edit mode and we need to get some of these things that uh, I did as part of the body but they have different materials. So we have to think um, you know what would have that and I'm going to go ahead and change this back to medium point and I'm going to turn on occlude here let's uh, I'm just going to take these windows and move them out of the way just so we can see a little bit better go to face select and I'm going to select all the glass or what I think would be the glass windshield shift select this area here And then probably C select all this would be easier. Okay, what is that? I see some of my dashes sticking out there, so I need to fix that. Let me see if I can deselect that as well. It definitely looks like it's selected, doesn't it? Turn off occlude. Must have selected it somehow in here. Okay. Yep, somehow I did. Yep, it's selected it, even though I guess it's that um, extrusion of that face right there. select okay so I think that is all the glass glass so once you have all your glass selected I'm just going to come back up to materials here choose the plus mark choose new material double click in here I'm just going to call this glass enter and assign it and then for the color just to kind of delineate what the glass is, make it, I'm going to make it a little bit green. Come down to the viewport, hit my little eyedropper, 
and grab that and we just assigned our glass material now one nice thing about this is when we go to do what we need to do um, we can come up here and say we need to select all our glass again we can just select the glass right here and choose select or deselect and I can see right now I have a little bit of a problem some of the glass isn't reaching up as far as it needs to so I just need to do a control R edge loop and bring that up a little bit and I was just thinking another thing that you might want to do on your car because it's going to look uh, fairly fake if we don't do it and that is put a seal around the windows I'll show you my method of doing that it's fairly easy to do so I'm going to do one window and then feel free to do the rest of them the same way but the way I'm going to do this see if I turn off occlude yeah, it's going to be pretty pretty messy there um, let me use this one here so alt select this edge and if you're lucky you're selecting all all the way around the windshield and I'm just going to choose shift D to duplicate that and I'm just going to bring it out just so I can easily select it if I need to but make sure you bring it out along this one of the axes here so you can easily move it back and I'm going to choose P separate by selection and then tab back into object mode and then select this okay and this is going to be our seal I'm going to do the opposite of what we did to the Bezier curve I'm going to come down to object convert to curve from mesh text which actually is curve from mesh in this case so now this is a curve you can go over to your curve menu and choose full you can bump up the depth of it and the resolution make it round I don't want it that high it doesn't need to be that high and move it back into place and I need to scale it a little bit so that it will fit and just work with it to you know have it fit as a seal would around your windows as best you can don't really want any of the blue paint showing below it I mean that's gonna just look pretty bad something like that and maybe bump up the uh, bevel a little bit or the depth and then bring it in down okay so there is the seal pretty cool and then we can uh, if you want to select it and go to object and convert to mesh from curve okay while it's selected we'll go back to our materials let me uh, actually name this um, seal front windshield okay while in materials I'm just gonna choose plus new and I'm gonna call this black underscore spec for speculate specularity just because um, these tend to be kind of shiny shiny black so color gonna be black and viewport black Okay, so you can use that same technique to do, um, you know, the other win windows here. And in fact, probably on your middle windows here, you'll probably want to uh, create a mirror just to make it a little bit easier. And you can see that I still have some problems right here. Yep. Try 
trying to be a little bit of a pain. Okay, and moving on, um, I'm going to choose face select and I'm going to choose this area right here. This is a mirrored material. So plus new, let's call this mirror. And for this, for the mirror, I usually just make it a little pink just to delineate what a mirror would be. And, and we'll know also that, oops, I didn't assign it. <laughs> that wasn't good. Control Z that assign the material. So then we can see what the mirror material is looking like. And as you can see, we need to control R Give this a little bit of definition. It doesn't screw up our lights. I mean our mirrors. Geometry. Control R. Once in there should be fine. And maybe shouldn't have applied the mirror uh, mirror modifier that soon, but that's okay. It's not that hard to assign this stuff. Okay, so our headlights are not going to be blue. At least not the body color blue. So select these. And is that part of it? I think it is. And new material. Lights. And I'll just leave these white, assign them. And here as well, you can see that you may need to shore it up with some uh, edge loops there. And then for the rear lights, let's see. Let me L select this and just bring it out, It'd be easier. Three side view, come in here, and I'm just gonna B box select all of this, plus new material, lights, rear, sign. Just gonna make this kind of red. And I'm going to take this part of the light. And shift alt select this and this. Oops. Not hard to get in there. Oh, turn off occlude. <laughs> that occlude will get you no matter what you do. Select all that and choose new material. And I'm going to call this chrome. Assign it. And I'm just going to make this kind of grayish. For now, okay. Oop. Want that? And um, 
on this part. I need to get the rest of the stuff and just assign it. So it looks something like that. And just to make things easier on myself, I'll select all of this, X delete bases. I'll select this one, put it back into place. And yeah, I probably shouldn't apply that mirror just quite yet on the body, but we'll get there. Okay, control one on the numpad, shift D duplicate. Duplicate these, I'll select this, shift D duplicate. And move those over. Okay, and there are our tail lights. Okay, and see what else do we have mm -hmm. front of the car we have this grill else like this and I'm going to choose the plus mark but I'm going to choose this little selection right here to bring in the black underscore spec that we already created and assign it. So we're going to use that same material for that. The bumper, I'll select that and that is going to be chrome. Select chrome and assign it. So those are pretty easy. And this bumper in back, you know really if I have a chrome bumper in front I need a chrome bumper in the back and I didn't really make a bumper per se back here. But I'll just go ahead and select this area so I can always come back and um, make this more of a bumper but just for ease of uh, speed on this and getting it done I'm just going to make this the chrome bumper part right here And so I can go to Chrome and assign. All right. And you know what? We have a nice little area right here for the tag, which I didn't do. But all you need to do is select these faces and extrude it in just a little bit to make a, a nice area for the tag there, which I may do later. It's easy enough to do. And let's see, what am I missing? starting to look more like a car. So now we need the interior of the car and probably the easiest thing to do here is just go to like the pieces and do an else. Uh, yeah, if I can select the right piece, L select. Okay, there's our seat or one of the seats and I'm just going to make this, uh, let's make this a dark blue. We want it to be a dark color because we don't have details in there. We just want it for the, the long shots. So plus uh, new material, call this blue, dark, and assign it. And as you might guess, make it dark blue almost black viewport color even though we can't really see it anyway and then um, got to do the other seat here so just choose blue assign okay then the steering wheel where's my steering wheel Oh, I did that separately, okay. Um, the dashboard, I think I will do the same thing, just a dark blue, which is actually that whole body piece of the car. Sign it. Make 
make sure I got the right piece here. Okay, and I think that's all we have for the interior on this part. These grill pieces here um, can either leave them blue or make them black. I think I'm going to go ahead and make them black. So, L select them. And I'm going to use the black specularity there. Okay. Just looking for anything else on the body of the car, which I don't see it. So we'll move on to the other parts. I'm going to do a control S quick save here. And let's do select the tires here. And I'm just going to do a plus mark on the material, come down to our materials that we've already created. I'm just going to make this black specularity. And do I want them really shiny? Well, we'll see how it works out. We can always create just a regular flat black material. Um, having done that, you can see that interior disc is black. And that's probably okay, but I think I want to make that chrome. So I'll select this plus drop this down and find your chrome material and sign that. Okay, and we have to do the same thing with these, but you can just duplicate this over if you want to. And then uh, the rims, plus, and choose chrome. And that's all we have right there, so that's fine. If you want to, you probably want to, you know, maybe want to put maybe a black part right in the middle or something. Or if you have an emblem that you want to texture in there, you can do that. Really depends on how you want to do it. So yeah, um, luckily I left the mirror on this one, but it's not helping us for the back tires. So maybe I was a little bit quick in applying that mirror, but that's okay. Um, just do three side view might be easier. And plus, and choose black spec, sign. Okay, and you can uh, just duplicate those over if you want or do the same thing on the back tires. And also the studs there, I think those were separate. Or were they? Yep, they're separate. So I'm just going to choose the chrome. Okay. And what have we got left? These pipes, I want those to be chrome, and I think that is it. Just uh, duplicate these real quick so it'll look a little bit better. Hopefully. <laughs> Control S quick save, Shift Z. So our car is coming along. Here's our just our basic materials, basic lighting render at only 10 samples. So it's looking pretty smooth at 10, 10 samples, I'm surprised. Not a lot of uh, grainy artifacts here. Okay, so we have assigned all our materials. Unless I've forgotten something, but um, that is... Oh, need to do the steering wheel. So go back and do the steering wheel. Um, you can select it by... Easily select it by coming up here and selecting it, selecting it that way. And then if you want to, um, you can... 
Once it's selected, you can do a Shift H to hide everything else but the steering wheel, so you can easily work with it. In the next video, what we're going to be doing is taking those materials that we've created and actually setting up the nodes for each material so that the body looks like body paint and the glass looks like glass and all that good stuff. So, I'll see you in what should be probably the, uh, well, it won't be the last tutorial. The one after that is going to be just setting up the lighting and basic rendering. So that should be fairly quick. But, um, so I'll see you in the next one, which is setting up our materials.